If you want to integrate a function on a graphing calculator, you don't need to actually graph it. What you can do is press the math button, and you can scroll down right to the ninth command on this list, or I scroll up just to look at it, or you could just press the number 9, and you see FNINT, right? Integrate the function. Press enter, and you might get something like this. And we'll go over this in a moment, but if you don't see this, if it's just, um, if you just see the command line, right, FNINT in a parentheses, you enter in the function, then the variable, then the lower and upper limit. So, for example, for us, we'll make the lower limit 2, and the, you scroll to the right, upper limit 5, scroll again, let's say x squared, so I press x and then square it, and then scroll again, d of x, right, we're defining the variable. If you don't see this format right here, you would enter in x squared first, followed by a comma with the variable x, you're telling right, the calculator that your function's x squared, comma, and that x is being defined as a variable, not a constant. Hit another comma, and then put your lower limit of 2, comma, 5, and it will evaluate it in the same way. Here we just press enter, and it gives you the answer. That's the area under the curve of x squared, right? from x equals 2 to x equals 5. All right, hope this helped.